Don't buy another Slate product or another piece of Slate gear until you watch this video. You're going to want to hear this. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Anthony, with AJ Audio and Production, coming back at you again with another video right here on my channel, AJ Audio. Make sure you click that like and subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm so that this channel can get out and more people can see the content that I'm producing on this on this channel here. Now, what we're talking about today is sleeving, uh, sleeving, sleeving slate. <laughs> I don't know who that is. What we're talking about today is Steven Slate and uh, his line of gear and products. Uh, I'm sure you guys have heard about his um, Slate Everything Bundle, um, or I don't even think they call it the Everything Bundle anymore. Whatever it is, uh, the Slate Digital Microphones with the emulation software, the Slate Ravens, which is what we're talking about today. So I am the proud purchaser of a 27 inch Steven Slate raven um monitor but something went wrong something went horribly wrong with my slate raven monitor check this out you ain't gonna believe it so i think it was close to about two years ago almost two years ago if not um i was seeing all the stuff online all the videos from steven slate and other engineers producers whatever talking about the slate raven uh, if you don't know what the raven is it's that monitor right there behind me it's a touch screen has like a software overlay that allows you to create customized shortcuts mix and stuff like that within pro tools or logic whatever you're using it's just a, it's a touch surface and a touch screen monitor real cool super functional for the studio so i wanted to get one of these uh these monitors for my for my spot so i did went online try to find one and they were a little bit out of the price budget that i wanted to get one for at the time so i ended up finding one used on ebay stay with me this gets good so I get one used on eBay. Um, the details on it says used in good condition, doesn't have um, software key, uh, doesn't have um, whatever the download is that you gotta get uh, to get it on your computer. So I was like, whatever, I'll just get all this stuff on the back end. And that's what I did. So I purchased it off of eBay. Um, thing came in the mail uh, about a week or so later hooked it up, connected it to my computer, and lo and behold, it can't connect because I don't have the software. So of course, I go to Slate Digital, email tech support, tech support sends me, um, you know, we're corresponding back and forth with each other and they're like, yeah, since you purchased it third party, you're gonna need to uh, purchase this software activation key. I think that was like $50. Um, from the actual manufacturer that makes the screen. Um, so you have to register it with them. And then the actual Slate Raven key to be able to use that, I think that was like another $99 or something like that. So it cost me like an additional $150 to get this thing up and running, right? So I spend that money, I purchase it, get the thing up and running, and everything's great in the world. I'm using it, uh, creating shortcuts, touch screen is cool all that good stuff. Um, about a month or two later, maybe three months, all of a sudden the touch screen stops working. So then I email um, the tech support. I set up a ticket. They email me back. We go through troubleshooting steps. Um, I had to download some new software because apparently the software that I downloaded from the site was outdated, wasn't working. So I had to get new software. That's cool. Download the software, Raven's back up and running. About four months later, stops working again. I'm frustrated at this point, but I'm feeling that it's my fault because I purchased a used Raven. I didn't know what was wrong with it, right? So email tech support again, they email back. They always chime back in on the same day. So that was really good. They were coming back on the same day to help me out, helping your boy out. So they chime back in. They were like, hey, here's what you need to do. Blah, 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 blah. Download this, do this. Okay, cool. I download the stuff. Thing comes back up and running. Couple months out again, thing goes down. 
at this point i'm really frustrated with it and starting to feel like you know maybe this was a bad purchase at this point i just let it go for like another three or four months just not even using it i'm just like screw the touch screen i don't need it i'm just use it as a second monitor i use two monitors two 27 inches one right here and the other one right there so i'm just like forget it and then you know after those couple months i'm like let me just hit them back up and see what they say so i hit them up they emailed me again sent me some software downloaded it it worked again cool this has kind of been the story of my raven so that brings me up to the year 2020 so earlier this year maybe in i have to say march april or so um the thing went out again and of course again i'm frustrated feeling remorse buyer's remorse for getting this darn thing so i email tech support letting them know this was about two weeks ago email tech support letting them know hey this is out again keeps happening of course tech support is now emailing me i'm in a fit of frustration but i'm trying not to vent it out too much over my tech support emails because i know i bought the thing secondhand i know i get it i bought something that may or may not have been functional you don't know what the last user did with it um so i couldn't really blame the company but i am frustrated with myself for purchasing an expensive piece of gear used off of ebay with no warranty no insurance no nothing right so i'm emailing them and we're trying to figure out how come it won't connect so the guy on uh with tech support is like sounds like the usb port in the raven is broken and that's why it's no longer connecting with your computer so i'm like okay well what do i need to do do i just need to take it to geek squad let them replace it and he was like no no don't do that yet you know we're just going to keep troubleshooting and see if we can get down to the bottom of it want to make sure so he asked me what type of mac i was using i told him i was using a newer um well, i guess it's not so new now but it's like a 2017 i think maybe 2016 2017 uh macbook pro um that i was connecting it to so it doesn't have any usb it just has the um the usb-c outs so everything's a dongle on the thing right so i'm like i got to connect it to three dongles i've used three dongles on it none of them are working and it used to work on all these dongles but now i can't get nothing out of it so he's like are any of those dongles apple dongles so i'm like no i bought them all off of ebay but they work for everything else i don't understand why they don't work for this so dude was like um okay would just chill um here's what we need to do send me a system report let me look at it so i sent him the system report he saw all the usb stuff on my computer saw everything connected to it and the slate wasn't registering so then he chimed in took over my computer remotely started looking at you know the system setup and everything like that and it wasn't coming on so i could tell he started getting a little suspicious in the little online chat because he was like I'm not seeing it here. I don't even see it in your system. Do you even have the slate? I'm like, yeah, I got, what you mean do I have the slate? Check my record. I I got all kind of tech support ticket numbers from this same Raven not working, right? So as he's on the, on the uh, he's on taking over my computer and, and screen sharing, I guess, um, I start messing with the USB cable on it. And then all of a sudden it just pops back up and there it is it's functioning it's working he does something installs something and then all of a sudden i can use the touch screen again and everything's great in the world and then while we're on the screen share the darn thing goes out again so he's like oh man you know it just went out i'm like exactly that's what i'm dealing with every couple of months and i'm um, at this point i just want to do my final roll or round of troubleshooting so i can get it fixed up enough so i can get rid of it i just want to fix it sell it off you know tell them usb port has been replaced whatever sell it at a discount rate i don't want to deal with the thing no more because it's too much so after we go through this troubleshooting dude is like okay this definitely you know is this that he's like here's what i need you to do i need you to get a apple usb dongle and see if the same issue happens on an Apple branded USB dongle. And I'm like, well, I don't have an Apple USB dongle. So then I had to go online 
purchase an Apple USB dongle, which I did not want to do. So I purchased it in frustration and waited another day for it to come in the mail. It came in the mail and I was like, dope, plug it up, still didn't work. Emailed the guy and I'm like, dude, just tell me where to take this so I can get it repaired so I can just get rid of it. So guy emails me back and is like, hey, seems like this one's malfunctioning, it's defective. Fill out this link and we're gonna send you a new one. What? You're gonna do what? <laughs> so I'm like, really? And he's like, yeah. So then I go to the little link, I type in my name. Um, it asks me where I purchased it from. I put all the information on there. I let them know that I purchased it from eBay. So they knew that I didn't purchase it, you know, outright from a, a dealer or anything like that. Um, put in the serial number and all that jazz and send it. And then two days later, I get a tracking number for my new Slate Raven that just came in the mail for your boy right here. Let me get the name in there. There it is. So like literally without warranty or anything. Hold on. Let me let me back up some. Look right here without warranty or anything slate and his team um the tech support team pulled up the serial uh on the device saw that it was defective and agreed to go ahead and exchange that uh for me so i was shocked i'm still shocked i'm floored i'm about to open the box about to set it up get it installed of course i gotta mail the the other one out you see the seal on there so seal had still hadn't even been broken I ain't even I haven't touched this thing, but I'm about to set this up in the in the studio, put that one back in the box, send it back out there. But I definitely just want to say, hey, Slate, Steve Slate, bro, appreciate it, bro. Like dope company, awesome tech support. You just don't find that with other manufacturers. I don't, I don't care what the manufacturer is. You're not going to buy an expensive piece of hardware without the warranty from a third party seller, like literally peer to peer selling, purchase it, have it for two years, have it go completely out, become defective. And then they still honor a warranty replacement on that joint for you. Like you just not finding that nowhere, bro. And I just want to say before you buy another piece of slate gear, which I own multiple pieces of slate gear, my microphone is the, the NL one, I think that's what it is. Um, the, the mic um, emulating system. I have the preamp for it over here on my desk. I got the Slate Raven. I got the uh, all access pass. That's what it's called. I got the Slate all access pass for the plugins. They're dope. Everything I get from, from Slate Digital is just fire. So if you ever needed to verify if what you were about to purchase through Slate Digital and Steven Slate, I'm telling you right now, you can rest assured it's going to be hot. It's going to be fire. This is not an endorsement. I'm not endorsed, but I would love to be endorsed. Uh, Steven Slate, if you if you're uh, interested, <laughs> interested in uh, talking a little scratch there, we, <laughs> we can work that out on the back end. But I just want to let you all know that if you're interested in purchasing anything Slate Digital, man, it's it's a dope company, dope product, dope gear. And you just can't go wrong, man. The customer service, the customer support is off the chain. I'll see y'all next time, man. Y'all click like, subscribe, share this, leave a comment. Tell me what y'all think. Y'all got the Raven? You got everything? Let's go. Talk about it. Peace.